So these cervical vertebrae are a little bit different than the others. This is C1 and C2. C1 is sometimes called the atlas, C2 the axis. C1 sits right underneath the, the skull. In fact, the occipital condyles on the bottom side of the skull are going to rest right here. Foramen magnum is going to be in this region right here. So when our, our brainstem and spinal cord head down right through here, we've got a nice wide opening. There's no real body here. You'll notice, because they're cervical vertebrae, we have the transverse foramina on either side, on, on, both, on both bones. When we put C1 on top of C2, this structure, the dens, is going to sit right in that region and allow for the C1, C2 complex to sit together. Anterior side, posterior side. This superior bone, C1, is going to rotate side to side right around that dens.